The Zimmerli Art Museum says it now owns the most impressive collection of Soviet nonconformist art from the 1950s to the fall of the Soviet Union in the 1980s, part of a $44 million donation to Rutgers University from Nancy and Norton Dodge. This is the greatest, largest, but also most prestigious uh, and inclusive collection of Russian nonconformist art anywhere in the world. Norton Dodge was an American economics professor. That's him on a Soviet subway in 1955. He collected art from the Soviet republics, some that the communist government commissioned and sanctioned, such as this imprisoned artist creating works to support the government instead of doing hard labor. But some from artists who risked limb, life, and liberty, opposing communism, and ridiculing rulers, works that could not be publicly displayed. This is Stalin in front of the mirror. Here, Stalin pays tribute to himself, and at the same time, he's looking at the mirror and can see everything that goes on behind his back. So this composition alludes to the situation of surveillance that he um, executed over the entire country. Another piece with a chilling message and title, No Exit. Mentally, they don't have much room to develop. They cannot escape the rules that the party imposed on them. The Dodge is gifted to the Zimmerli 17,300 paintings, sketches, sculptures, and literary pieces, and millions more to care for. They began donating to the Zimmerli in the 1990s, after other donors had entrusted their Russian collections to this same museum. The donation is the largest in the history, the 200-plus year history of Rutgers University, and an invitation for scholars and students alike to come here and study what was it like behind the Iron Curtain. Anyone who wants to study this period, and it can be art historians, but it also can be social historians, it can be political science uh, people, if they want to come and study this and then go back to the former Eastern Europe or anywhere in the world and write up their books and do a documentary, etc., they have to come here. So we are, you know, the, the mountain for Muhammad, if you will. The Zimmerli says it will have more rotating exhibits displaying its vast collection of Soviet nonconformist art, works created in a society that wasn't free, but whose works can be seen here for free. In New Brunswick, Michael Hill. NJTV News.